But anyway, uh, well, this next match. That's screen now. This next match is going to be John Numbers versus Fawn. I thought they were going to be starting, but then they stand to not fist bump, but just, you know, they want to tidy the wires. I appreciate that, but play. <laughs> we, we got a schedule here. Yeah. Now, this is a matchup as old as time itself. Yeah. If you At least as old as events. Ultimate. Three, two, All right. Go! So, I'm going to go do some uh, YouTube and Twitter things. You uh, take it away. By all means. So, Duck Hunt versus We Fit Trainer. As we were just saying, if you're familiar with the regulars of Xeno, if you've seen the most recent PR, you're probably familiar with both these players. Both very uh, intelligent. They know how to mix things up on the fly when need be. And are very, like for characters who both have like a bunch of projectiles and traps and the like, they're both very purposeful with using each and every uh, tool to their disposal, which, you know, lesser players of both these characters probably aren't in one way or the other. And now both players just, uh, Content to play house. Gunman is so funny. Gunman okay. won uh, the, Ooh, the, the final game for the uh, Pawn's last set. Got it. Got it. <laughs> but uh, numbers can most definitely take this back. Yeah, but I mean, that like, taking that lead is going to be a really big deal. Oh, there it went. It's almost like the, no one lost any stocks at all. Dead even. That's the, uh, that's the leader gunman that just popped out. Def the fastest, I think the strongest in knockback as well, but they uh, sent straight up. Is the strongest not the... the, the the short one in the poncho? Um, in percent, I believe. Him, that guy. In percent, probably, okay. though I know uh, the leader definitely hits, like, sends you away the farthest. Is the leader the, the tall one or the, the or the other short one? Uh, the, the tallish one in all orange. In all orange, okay. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I there was, yeah, okay, I was, I, I forgot about that him. Yeah. He's quick with it, too. Oh, I see that um, John is now a stock ahead. <laughs> Funny how that happens. Yeah, real, real, real uh, tee hee. Nice conversion. Okay. I actually just learned recently that the. Um, the disc that Duck Hunt throws out for side B is also frame one, which is just crazy to me. Yeah, I, I mean it's been uh, it's been frame one since uh, Smash Four, pretty sure. So who else plays this character back yeah. then, especially? Yeah, we're gonna watch MVD come back, Raito. We need you. All right, so I mean, like, yeah, I was gonna say, pretty uh. Tough situation for Fawn. Mm -hmm. Number's going to be sealing out that last stock with a forward tilt and a two stock. Poked right in the eyes. Yeah, the the the, uh, the real Looney Tunes energy right here. Doing. Caught the man with his pants down too. Unbelievable. Oh. Uh, Fawn having an existential crisis. No, <laughs> deep in thought. <laughs> Pondering. Find your center phone. All right, just run it back. I respect it. Was there anything particularly wrong? Just uh, we fit steel stock. Be the change you want to see in the world. Don't go to a different stage. Be the change you need. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so yeah, game two. Wise um, words in all aspects of life. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, watch it. <clears throat> Okay. And Fawn has not been hit yet. Okay. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. So far, Farm's doing a great job, uh, you know, just kind of keeping numbers boxed, boxed out until, you know, I start, you know, pointing it out. Until we bring attention to it. That, yeah. that's, that's on us. Yeah, that's Schrodinger's combo, you know, uh, or Schrodinger's lead. <laughs> Once you notice it, it disappears. Uh, ooh, okay, yeah, just barely making that back. Uh, can Fawn seal out this stock uh, that they've worked so hard to make uh, such progress on? Uh, some spooky What's the setup? can stuff. I love to see it. You can hang out there, but I got lots of stuff for you to come up. I got some friends who want to say hi. With a barrel loaded in your face. Yeah. We're fine, we're fine. John, John's composure with like being that close to oh it, like God. really good stuff. Fun, going to seal out the first stock. But, you know, 87 uh, damage uh, racked up from John. So what can John do to, uh, you know, kind of even up these percents to try and turn it around into his lead? And what can Fawn do to mitigate that and just, like, maintain this lead? Let's get some extra damage in. Let's go for some little trades. These are legitimate questions. Boom. Okay. Well, that, that's not... Uh, you don't want to see that. Okay. Don actually really being slippery while also being across the stage. Um, yeah. Wow. Fawn has not been able to get, like, any, like, residual damage, any, like, mm -hmm. trades or whatever. John's actually doing a really good job of just kind of staying clear of everything that they're throwing at him. Hey, you said it. The composure is immaculate. Yeah. Uh -oh. This is nuts. He, like, John's really reading, like, like the complete game Yikes. plan. And, yeah, didn't, like, barely took 20 damage. Now we're back to even... 20? What 20? Yeah, I know, huh? Excuse me. Yeah, it, back in the, to the teens. Uh, but yeah, uh, even up the the stocks and like pretty dead even percent. If John keeps that up, then you know, I mean, technically untouchable, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, now uh, Fawn is beginning to to find their stride. Okay. Ooh, good. Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, Almost cut the raw bear there, there, but uh, oh. Okay, it's coming down to the wire for this uh, second stock on the both of them. Well, a little bit closer for John, Whoa. but uh, just like we saw last time, you know, it took a while. And Is that gonna be it should be gone. Yeah. Uh, Clay pigeon to uh, duck on back air. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty classic right there. Oh, uh oh. All right, now. We're in a similar situation. Can Fawn, you know, get Wind some extra damage in? Yeah, exactly. Why? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Maybe if we just didn't talk about it, it might happen. It'd really be like that sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my god. You ever just get hit by your own thing and then the entirety of the sun? It's just, just, it's snowballing. All right, but no, Fawn, turn oh, it hello, around. hello. To be fair, even though Fawn hasn't been able to like like you know widen gaps and like secure leads, they have been taking the first stocks, like uh, taking the leading stock. Yeah. So right now, honestly, oh, it's it's baby. Been, yeah, I was gonna say it's Caught gonna be their fingers. game to lose, and they don't, and they take it. Good composure by Fawn, um, keeping cool and like it. Was able to keep a lead, but it was always like really like down to the wire. It was still very even. Yeah, the set the set so far has been very competitive on both sides. <laughs> yeah. So we're just running it back to uh, Smattlefield. Uh, understandable, these players just gonna run it back there. So yeah, let's see what kind of uh, change in the world John wants to see. Because uh, as like like I said, even though it was really even, Fawn kind of kept like the tiny lead that they needed to get the victory, get the dub. Like, what do you do there? That has all your options covered, effectively. I just, I don't understand. Like, it's so interesting that like, John could be untouchable for multiple stocks, 
right? Mm -hmm. uh, preventing Fawn from like building a large lead. But then, when it came down to it, when they're on the same stock, Fawn uh, had the recipe to seal out the stock before John could. Uh, it, it's really interesting. Like, what is changing in the gameplay? Like, what is the, the, the difference in percent that, like, is, uh, you know, dictating the, the game plan, you know? Like, I've gone on record saying, oh, wait a minute, nah. wait a Okay, I was afraid for a second. Um, like, I've gone on record saying that Ultimate, more so than any other Smash game, most other fighting games in general that I can think of, is definitely a player versus player like game at the end of the day. Like, you could be playing any character, and if you get in your opponent's head or can just, like, predict their what they're going to do at every given uh -oh, moment, uh -oh. then you can win with anybody. Almost had a fair bear. See no spike. Ooh. But yeah, I mean, like to, to add to your point about like the like the player versus player thing, it's, it's like the, like there's certain there seems to be like certain phases in the game where John has a lock on Fawn's play style, and then then uh, another phase where Fawn kind of has a lock on John's play style. The script flips. Wow. Can we, can we point out that that wasn't Can that sent numbers back? That was that was Can hitting soccer ball, which yeah, set let, up for that up Let's do that again. Oh, we got instant replay. Yeah, that's the that instant Yo, instant that's replay. Be like, look, 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 it, look it right here. Boom. Boom. You fool. Get out of there. Anyway, yeah. So onto this next stock. Um, this time it was John taking the the the, the leading stock mm -hmm. and uh, Fawn to kind of close. Uh, you know, uh, bring it back to even. Uh, so even though like John has the percent lead, they're going back and forth. All right, see what Fawn doing with this edge guard. Oh, okay. Nor Just shoot a point <laughs> blank. Normal get up, point blank. Yeah, all right. What's <laughs> the worst that could happen? Oh, oh my god. That yeah. That probably would have killed. Fawn knowing their range with the uh, with Duck Hunt forward smash and John also knowing it. Like... The phone was just like, if you move an inch, a, a centimeter, I'm going to get you. And John's like, if I move an inch, Ooh. a centimeter, they're going to get me. <laughs> and avoids it. <laughs> All right. This is... I thought it was going to be a tech chase. This is so interesting because, like like I said, like um, at, at least as far as the first stock of this, this set, it, it, it has been like a bit of a reverse of what happened in the previous game where, like, uh, Fawn was taking the leading stock. John took the leading stock in this in the first one, but now we're kind of in a dead even situation. Can oh. Fawn turn it around? Maybe. Don't. Oh my God. Ooh. Yeah, that's. That wasn't the and strongest one, but enough rage. Yeah, definitely. That was the gunman that sealed out the last uh, set for Fawn. Uh, last time I played oh, on stream. What happened? Dear. What actually happened? A misinput of some Let's sort. Let's see. Yeah, well, the, the, the power of technology. So already fast use the jump, fall, fast fall, air dodge. dodge. Yeah, not gonna be able to come back. Uh, all right. Okay. So all right, they did themselves. Fair enough. Yeah, it's just accepted fate. Trying to get back into the game. You don't want to like. You don't want to cool down. You don't want to get frustrated. You don't want. You don't want John Numbers to build more percent back up. Oh yeah. Also, the, yeah. The fact that like John could just be healing, and you know. Do all the exercises, get the br the the breathing in, like you know. It's like forget. It, let's get into the let's get to the next uh, as fast as we can. And already Fawn with a bit of a lead, tiny, but it is there, and that means John is on the back foot. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, is this Fawn's game to lose, or can they maintain control? All the way to the end. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you. Ah! Ah! That was spooky. Like, the clay pigeon is frame one, but also very, very unsafe if used, like, at point blank. Hey. John has been closing the gap on this percent. Oh, Lord, explosions, soccer balls, cans, and gunmen. Oh my. So. 
Did Fawn show their hand too early by taking a stock with a gunman uh, super far away? Because like, it, uh, like is John like John going to be ready for that? And does Fawn have enough tricks mm -hmm. to kind of uh, keep the mix fresh? You know, right now we're, we're kind of pushing John oh. to the. Ah! That was such a great read. They did read that air dodge and was like kind of ready for it, but kind of I guess like second guessing himself or didn't have there like was, the timing for it. There was killing intent yeah. up until they turned back around. There, there, there was. There's a timeline where that was executed and uh, Fawn is the game is already over and Fawn already won. Ooh, okay, hello, can. hello. All right. What? Whoa, that gunman. No, I thought. Careful. I was putting a downer to try and like two frame the recovery. Oh my lord. Oop, oh, we're gonna get like the stray hit. Oh, from sorry, the you can you can delay the pigeon. Forget what I said about it being unsafe. Okay, great get up. Uh, by uh. Not gonna do it, cause all the way across stage. But who's gonna win this game three? This is getting real spooky. Is that up that gonna do it? do it? And it does. And John's controller leaves his hands. It's vanished into the ether. The set goes to Fawn. Let's go, Fawn. Yo, what the heck? That that jacket kind of fire. What's going on over there? Sheesh. They, they got that dog in them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So I have to go play now. Yeah, so I will talk to you later. Thanks for hopping on the mic. See you later. Yep. All right, yeah, so, okay, let, let's uh, let's start this over again. Um, our next match, by the way, is going to be Dark Blues and Carflow. So, yeah, the air, uh, the hit from the Clay Pigeon going to combo into the duck. Man, the duck's face is so cute and so big. And now let's uh, let's see the other, the other important part of this replay. Look at that controller. Immediately gone. And he doesn't even know. He's like, what happened? It went to another dimension. But, yeah. All right. So, whew. great set uh, between John and Fawn. Fawn able to take it uh, in the end, and it just super back and forth, super down to the wire. You love to see it. Good stuff.